He would do fine with it. It's hard though. You gotta get used to the like just oh, some I, weird controls. I, I, I have tried it. It's yeah. Oh boy. I found the perspective interesting too because it was so zoomed out compared to a lot of Sega games. Like most Sega games that the sprites are a little larger that I've played anyway than the Super Nintendo games, and that one was like really zoomed back. Yeah, compared to Sonic, that was like a yeah. mile back. Sonic games is like zoomed in like it's so bad. I get so mad at those games. For a game you're supposed to go fast in, they sure try to make you go slow. Look, I love Sega, but Sonic games really piss me off. Oh god. Yeah, I just recently ran through Sonic CD and the last couple of levels of that game drove me absolutely nuts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, we know, Kitty. <laughs> we know we're live. Hot. Okay, bro, Amigo, welcome in. It's Atari Mario Brothers with Mario from Donkey Kong, his brother Luigi, and lots of crazy creatures. And it's twice the fun when two play at once, because you need all the help you can get. Mario, where are you? Mario Brothers, new from Atari. watching the most exciting game you will ever see on your TV set. Telstar by Coleco with three different games. Telstar Tennis with digital scoring, variable speed. Telstar Hockey. Each player controls a goalie plus a forward on the other side. Oops, a goal. And Telstar Singles Handball, a game you play yourself. Telstar Handball, Tennis, Hockey. All three at an exciting low price. For great family fun, hitch your TV to a Telstar by Coleco. Be a pinball champ, boy. This is Pinball Champ, not a toy. It's a big new game. Stands right on the floor with 15 different ways to score. Bells ring. Lights flash. Pinball Champ, it's a smash. Balls fly through the action track. Hit those flippers. Send it back. Bonus bumper keeps it moving. Keep it up. You're really grooving. Bells ring. Lights flash. Pinball Champ, it's a gas. It's got the guts. It's really built. It's real pinball. It'll even... Purchase of children's products at major Sears stores. You can take home a free Boo Bear today. The Transformers will return after these messages. The Ice Age is coming! No way! Good humor's colossal fossils were frozen in a flash, but now you can bring them back to life. You can bite into that yummy lemonade with grape or cherry ice and free the gummy dinosaur locked inside. Wow, I was out cold. New Col
Bugs Bunny change into Super Bugs? Faster than you can say what's up, Doc. Now when you buy a Looney Tunes Happy Meal, you get one of four toys that comes with his very own snap-on costume, like Bat Duck or Taz Flash. Super Looney Tunes Happy Meal, only at McDonald's. It's new, it's wild, it's Sega. International Sega TV games are now here. From Shaw Wallace. Take hey, this. Want some more? Yeah, yeah. Unlock your mind. Sega! Now, when you buy the Sega Genesis that comes with Sonic 1, you'll get Sonic 2 absolutely free. Sonic 2 handles stubborn stains, embarrassing bald spots, no problem. It even slices and dices, takes thousands of julienne fries. But wait, you can play it too. This free Sonic 2 is a $54.99 value. You get two Sonics for the price of one. Sonic 2 fits easily into any tackle box. Made from the space age polymer. Ano space harrier ga nimega de tsui ni shin tojo. Telebi game hatsu no 3D 感覚超迫力ソフト迫り来るドラゴンをツーフィンガー連射で倒せ。スペースハリアー。セーガー。Challenges you with the ultimate video game, the Sega Master System. Hang on, hang on. With more accurate control, more detailed graphics, more levels of play. Awesome. The Sega Master System comes with power base, two control pads, light phaser, and two great video games. Hang on, it's a fiery hunt. Gotcha. And with other games like Rambo, Outrun, and Choplifter, the excitement never stops. The Sega Master System. The challenge will always be there. Tekstbehandling på 15 minutter. Commodore Amiga 500. Køb fremtiden nu. The most innovative computer company, Commodore, introduces the future of computing now. The Commodore Amiga 500, the newest addition to the Commodore Amiga family. A computer that gives you the creative edge with a productivity base. Business, words, music, art, design, animation, graphics, video. Only Amiga makes it all possible. The power of Amiga gives you a system that moves with... Do you know about the best-selling game system in the world? About Nintendo Game System? Do you know about games that will spike you off your feet? Like your green yendo, with real sound and real pictures that come out and hit you in the face? Games that'll challenge you till you explode with excitement. I lost my life. I can get magic again. Games that you'll never want to put down, that'll dare you and captivate you. With so much action, you'll be absorbed by them until you're sucked into your television set. We are Nintendo Ultimate TV Game System. We challenge all players. You cannot beat us. Aim your Zabaka. You cannot beat us. Even with your robot partner. You cannot beat us. So... If you imagine tapping a home computer would be blind, you'll be glad to see the Commodore Amiga 500. It's an arcade quality game. You can compose a symphony. Or you can start a new job. The Amiga 500 could make all the difference to a child's education. 
Hey, welcome in everyone. How is it going? Happy Sunday, December 17th, and welcome to our new season of Retro Jeopardy. <laughs> I tried, go <Golden>. Ted. <laughs> I tried, I tried. So Kalinka is representing the winter theme. Woo, what's going on? So today we're gonna have only frosty. Only frosty Kalinka questions. That's it. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Welcome, welcome. Happy Sunday. Welcome in. Okay, I can't really use the mouse with this one, so I'm gonna have to scroll with this. Cause mittens, you know, they're not really made for 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 mice. Just for rats. What's going on? Wolf Master, welcome in. Spade, Breeze, Sleeper, Retro Junkie, John, welcome in. There's Mix, Golden, Donkey. Goose, hello. what's going on? Chris, how's it going? R Angry Chef, hello, hello, Rydia, welcome in, Rydia, that was awesome to see you. Oh my gosh, Rydia, you almost ended up with my Athena challenge for the white elephant, but we can talk about that later. We can discuss those details. What's up, Dig Dog? What's going on, Bane? Welcome in, Fat Thumper, hello. Hello, hello, everyone. Dash How, what's going on? Reboot, welcome in. There's spade, there's more licking. Ganger, what's happening? Lady hat for wait, had a cat for an arm? I saw it. I didn't rip any cats for the for the arms. So all cats stayed safe right there. All cats stayed safe. Make Rob, hey, what's happening? Vanessa, hello. MBD, welcome in. What's going on? Oh my goodness. Lazarus, Micris, hello, hello. How are you doing? Hello, Eliza. Welcome in. How are you doing tonight? Welcome, welcome everyone. So today. We are starting a new season of Retro Jeopardy. This is going to be the first round. Or maybe I can click it. Let's see. Oh, there we go. No! Oh my gosh. I screwed it up already. No, I can't click it. So this is the first round of our 2024 season. We're going to have some new players playing. and But tonight, we're going to have our veterans from the prior year come back and open up the season the, in the most glorious way that they can. So tonight, we're gonna have, and I'm gonna introduce them right now. Maybe I don't need my mittens. Hang on, hang on. Tonight, we have, who do we have? Who do we have? You guys wanna guess who we have playing? I think I, I have a, I have a listener right there. All right. Tonight, we have, one and only the reigning champion of our prior Jeopardy. Wait. <laughs> there we are. Golden. Donkey. <laughs> and Little Mixer. Little Mixer to my right, yes, right here, is the reigning champion. Golden, he was uh, almost the reigning champion, so we can consider that. And Doki is going to be maybe our next reigning champion of 2024. So tonight, um, Alex J. Pass could not join us, but he will be joining in us on a later Jeopardy stream. So we're going to see more of Alex. Unfortunately, some weather circumstances were not allowing him to join, but we will play this one without him and we'll... Just sit there and wait until he comes back. Kitty, what's going on? Lazarus, Durian, welcome in. How are you doing? What's up, Fat Sacks? Welcome, welcome. Where's the ball so you can dump all your rat coins on Toki? Well, there we go, Dash Hound. Dash Hound, we need some... Some poll. We need some poll in chat. Golden. I'm working on that. Yep, I'm working on that right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Golden. So, tonight... The Jeopardy is going to be similar, but a little bit different. So the winner of tonight's round is going to advance to the final Jeopardy that will happen probably sometime at the end of... Hopefully that's not too loud. I'm going to turn it down. At the end of 2024, probably in the wintertime. And then they will also be 
the winner of our grand prize for tonight. What's up, Ron? Hey, what's going on? Which is a choice of two things. One is a $100 Steam gift card that um, you can use on whatever you like. And another gift, you can choose either or, if you're the winner, is going to be a tangible gift. A tangible mystery gift that Rat prepared of lesser or equal value. And um, yeah, but equal. Just kidding. Of course, it's equal value. <laughs> What's up, Donkey? What's going on? Beard, welcome in. So the winner is going to choose. The winner is going to choose. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. So do you guys have something to say to the audience before we get started? And I'll explain more of the rules. I just wish J-Pass could be here. It doesn't feel right because this is the fourth Jeopardy we've done with all... We, we've had no one's miss any attendance so far and not having him here kind of feels kind of weird. <laughs> it does. It does. And it was... It was... I know under, you know very severe circumstances and i know a lot of you guys experiencing some bad weather so i totally understand and like i said he will be joining us um in the next games and he is i'm sure here in spirit so <laughs> so no, we're gonna <laughs> wait what no angry just said he bought it. He, he dumped all this life savings on me oh all the life savings who will win tonight again tonight's winner is going to win a prize and move on to the final Jeopardy. Now, the two remaining players are going to continue to play with new players coming in. And they can continue to play until they either win or the season, the 2024 season is over. And there's no more Rad Jeopardy questions that Rad's going to come up with. So, we're going to try for that. What's up, Lyra? Welcome in. Theo, hello. Vanilla, what's going on? Mora, welcome, welcome. J-Dog, what's happening? So what are we doing for prediction? Can I predict? Can I bet? I should not do that. Oh my goodness! Ooh, Toki, you were definitely the underdog so far. So someone is going to make big, big bucks on you tonight if you're going to win. So do it. Now, tonight's Jeopardy, as I promised, is going to have winter-themed questions and absolutely no, none whatsoever, Sega Genesis. Now, there'd be Sega on there, but not Genesis, not Mega Drive, nothing. Nothing. Nothing like that. Is Toki stuck? No. Is Toki not stuck? <laughs> I thought Toki was praying to the Toki gods <laughs> that there would be at least one Genesis question. Right? At least one? But have I done just one, maybe? I assume there's going to be one somewhere in there. It's going to be snuck in, so. Now, there might be something somewhat trolling in there, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm usually pretty straightforward, so we'll see how it goes. What's up, Ducky? Fade, what's going on? The voice is too low. Yes, I was going to just ask you before we get started. Who is... I think I got you guys all turned up. Can you hear Golten? Hello, hello, hello. I think I got you all the way up. Mix? Can you hear me? Is this too loud? Too quiet? Good? Very quiet? Okay. Let me turn you guys all up. Toki, say something. I'm too sure quiet, you're about to too say. Too loud? How we sounding? Golden, very... I know. He usually got... I don't know, Golden. I have you cranked up all the way up on my side. So hopefully... Test, test. Let me oh. turn you guys all up here. Hang on. I think I got one more. Oh, Is this better? Up. This might be better. I mean, all this better. Hello, hello. Scream Testing. and shout. Through a poop sock? Tuesday? <laughs> what is Testing. a poop sock? Better, 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 better. Okay. The, the conclusion is better. I can turn you up even more. Hopefully the music with the Jeopardy is not going to blast you out, but we'll turn you up and we'll turn the music down. So hopefully that works. Okay. And tonight... At the very, um, kind of a impromptu, impromptu suggestion, we're going to actually have a second place prize, which is going to be a tangible gift. So if you don't want rats, your rats uh, treasure possessions, you can decline it. However, you can have it 
if you take a second place. So, let's see. Who are we all voting for? I think we got prediction going on. Ooh, how long did we have it set for? Go. Uh, actually, I set it for like 30 minutes, but I think we'll be, we'll be good. Hmm. I don't want anybody getting too... Two, but I guess they're stuck now, right? They're, they're yeah, they they're can stuck, dump yeah. their points in last last minute. So yeah. we have a mix in the lead with 125 invested red coins that are gonna be more valuable than the bitcoins someday. You guys just watch. Goldhead with 106 in Toki with 11, 315. So please invest your money. Toki is our underdog, and if you invest in him, you can win really really big really big tangible gift yes so the tangible both tangible gifts are going to be a surprise so i'm not going to reveal them right now but uh you can always if you got the first place you can always go for the steam gift card because yeah you can even get a poop sock on there right on steam you can get anything on steam what's up john <laughs> what's going on when the Bitcoin goes to zero, that would be true. Aw, Ducky. Aw, breaking <laughs> rat's heart. Aw. <laughs> What's up, Prime? Doggy stonks. We'll see. Maybe we do a little better. Okay, Johnny. Come in. Good evening. How are you doing? Angry Chef. What's going on? Nuff Dragon. Hello. You better not let me down this time, Vanessa says. Golden, yeah. you got to try your best. One little change to this game from the previous games is that we're not going to have any negative scores whatsoever. None. So you are not penalized for answering the question incorrectly. So please dare and try and uh, make Rat's heart happy answering her non-Genesis question. Bonus, use your poop sock as a sheath for your poop knife. Fat sacks. Yes, there is such a thing of poop knife. I forgot about that. I've heard about it like two years ago. <laughs> What's up, wing band? What's going on? Let's go, Toki! Poop gear. I don't even know what poop sock is. So I'm not going to get into that. All right. I'll see if I can use my stuff with the mittens on. You know, you get kind of better with the mittens on a little bit. You don't have the use of the fingers and I'm really, really warm. But that's the only downside. Usually... Usually it works pretty good. What's up, Feta? Welcome in. Get kicked out with your raid poop side. Poop gear. Oh my god, hello. Welcome in, dig name. Welcome, welcome. All right, so we're going to get started. <sighs> Let's see. So I'm going to send you guys, I think I have it hidden here, so we can start the game. And I will send you a code via Twitch. So we want this. We're gonna... Okay, so you have to go to Play Factiel. I'm gonna copy the address in chat. It's Play Factiel, one word, dot com, slash join. So please go and click on this link. There's no... It's not a dangerous link, and you don't have to verify that you're not a robot. So that's the advantage of that link right there. If you click it, you should need a code and i'm gonna message you a code right now it's asking for my credit card is that normal yes Doki. that is okay. totally normal so just <laughs> make sure you give good information wait social security number what the f <laughs> hmm that is a little bit suspicious but i think it's fine i think it should work well hopefully that was a good year <laughs> right there <Rob. laughs> Mother's maiden name as well. Yes, and thank you. Is your stream layout a close-up of someone's arm? Wait, what? Oh, the hair? That grunt? That is the actual hair of an actual rat. That is so authentic, you wouldn't even believe it. Wouldn't even believe it, I swear. It's an actual rat hair. It's so good. All right, Damn it, one. No! <laughs> Details allowed, boys? Yes, exactly. Spell them out. Spell okay, them out. my password is 12345. Oh, boy. I got to change mine now. Damn it. I always use that. Somebody's seen Spaceballs. 
Of course. <laughs> All right, I gotta kill you. you. One more. All right, here we go. I think it should be all set. We have Toki that joined, and I think you can actually f pick more than fruit, you guys. I think you can actually pick vegetables and things. What? Maybe, oh, wow. maybe yeah, there was food. vegetables in there. There was vegetables. I saw there was a potato, yeah. and I was giving it a test run. So there's definitely vegetables. Hey, I'm sorry. I disabled the um, the redeems for today. As far as the mushroom goes, I'm gonna refund your points, and we're gonna do it next stream. And uh, you can still waste your points if you'd like to. And Tuesday, thank you, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you so, so much for the three months, Tuesday. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate you lots. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please. Thanks so much for redeeming. But yes, I'll continue that on. And Holy Beard. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the sub. That is very, very sweet of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Too sweet. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. Thank you, thank you for hanging out. Barbecue, change it to one, two, three, four, six. I think I'm gonna do that. Fun fact, potato plus poop sock. Okay, I'm gonna have to find out. You know what? Toki makes me Google weird things on Twitch, on uh, on Google, on, on my Google Right, I can educate history. you in the poop sock after retro yes, if you're uh, Jeopardy, if you I like. Know. I can give you the rundown, yeah. <laughs> I know what a poop knife is, but I do not what know what a poop sock is. So. It's in the same <laughs> realm. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find out. All right. Tyrod, hey, welcome in. Spade, thanks so much for our bits. All right. We have some more points invested in Toki, and I think we can get started. Oh, shoot. No, no, no. I messed it up. All right, take that back. Hang on, you guys. I got to give you a new code. I was thinking of uh, Alex because he was here in spirit, and I um, accidentally made it for four instead of three. I'm so used to making it for four. I'm sorry. This is not such a... Such a friendly, but it code. But at least I have you guys pulled up. See, it feels weird without Alex here. I know. That's why I kept thinking about him. Like, I have four. All right. Sorry about that. All right. One more turn. I think I can remember the number, right? All right. Here we go. Pick your potato again. All right. I'm going to give it, get, get it one of these days. And that was a good year. Too bad we didn't uh, we didn't play that. All right. So now we should be all set. Three teams. Mixer. Gilton. We have a pineapple, a potato, and so we're with Alex. Picking. What are you thinking, Toki? I'm picking. There's okay. There's more than just fruit and vegetables. I did not yes, realize you would scroll along too. the bottom. I know. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, this is it. You know what they used to have? I, when I was a kid, they had like mittens I touch attached to like strings. So you <clears> put <throat> it around yourself and you put pull it through your coat and then your mittens hang from the coat on on like strings. I don't know if you guys ever had that, but these are they they come in really handy cuz then you don't lose them. They just always hang out of your sleeves. It's just my my <laughs> my weird childhood sharing. Little <laughs> faster, what's going on? All right, Toki's here. Dinosaur. There we go. Now we're playing. All right, we're gonna begin the game, and then we can finally share. So here it is. Rat hole winter jeopardy. You got those for your wife. Nice Tuesday. That's always awesome. Arctic. Handy. They're really handy. So, the categories today are, hi, I like snow, cold weapons, baby, it's cold outside, and I can even sing it too, winter houses, you're frozen when your heart's not open, <laughs> Toki might be frozen there, and winter sports, so six frosty categories, I don't know why I showed four. <laughs> T-Rex. So, today we're going to have to mix, switch it up. We almost have it right. Okay. Let me move Gilton to the potato realm. And Toki is our T-Rex. Alright. 
Got everybody right. Everybody's aligned. Aligned enough. And I did say there's no negative scores, so please, please, please answer if you know it. So, let's get started. Today, um, what, what should we do? What should we do? Well, you know what? We're gonna give Dinosaur a chance. Toki, you go first. Your first pick today. What is it gonna be? Let me move you over here. Wait, what? What? The host has muted my mic? Oh, no! How did I do that? I didn't even click on you. Are you sure? He's totally making it up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, don't care. Was, okay, there we go. You all those there is already questions. tampering going on. <laughs> it's uh, all I... rigged. Oh my gosh. I don't know what what happened really. I, it wasn't even on that screen. It's the it's the gremlins. They're right here. The gremlins are attacking. <laughs> all right, <laughs> cold weapon sounds fun. <laughs> all right, what is it? Cold weapons. Can we do cold weapons for three? Cold weapons for 300. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Found in Final Fantasy on the nest, this weapon is described as a sword gripped by winter's chill. Mixer! What is the ice sword? Do you know the particular for it? Uh, ice brand? I think so. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll, we'll give you that one. We'll give you that one. But please, be specific. Be okay. specific. Go See, in the game, it calls it just the ice sword. That's why I was a little <laughs> bit, like, confused on it. Because that's all it shows in the game is ice. Oh, yeah, it does say ice sword. So that's why I wanted to give you a little, a little opportunity to recover. Ice knife. Ice poop knife. Soup man. Two answers. <laughs> what kind of game is this? Two answers. No, it's one answer. Ice brand, but he was correct. Okay. Mixer, you are next. Um, winter sports for 500. Going big. Rodney looks a little roasted there, but we sure like buying skis from him in this game released for Amiga, Nintendo, and Commodore 64. Go then! What is ski or die? That is correct. Ski or die. Nice one. I've never seen that one before. I was like, wow, yeah. Rodney's so cool. He looks like Rodney Dangerfield. I don't know if you guys know him mm. years ago, but he does. Yeah, he's also in the uh, skater die as well. But <laughs> Oh, is he? He's he's got the he's selling the skate gear. Mm -hmm. What's up, Bob? I've never even I've never even heard of ski or die. That's amazing. I found so many winter sports games. Oh my goodness. Going through all this. It, actually, like every time I do this, I learn so, so much. Skier die is pretty fun. Sit waiting on the man poop sock in. There's something about with that poop sock. Oh my goodness. We're going to have to discover that. All right. Colton. Uh, let's try. Hi, I like snow for 300. Hi, I like snow. For 300, this adorable pet roams the snow hills of which Super Nintendo video game? Mixer, can we hear the Jeopardy music, y'all? <laughs> you go ahead, Mixer. What, what is Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back? That is correct. <laughs> Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. There's no music, Lazarus, because they're pushing the button too quickly. It, when the <laughs> countdown starts, it, it should play the music, but maybe we should just play the music in the background because we're never going to hear it, ever. Got that game for Christmas one year? No, he's... Oh, my goodness. You guys. All right. So you can press the button. By the way, I think I changed the buzzer just a little bit. It should be available right when the timer stops. So just make sure yep. you uh, try to press it as fast as you can. And use the tap technique. <laughs> tap it quick. Do you want to guessing in chat? Yeah, no ple no correct guesses, please. Especially if they're thinking. I'm hoping something's going to make them think. What's up, Derp? What's going on? 
It's Jeopardy. All answers must be informed. Oh, a question. Yes, please say what is. Mixer, you go. Uh, cold weapons for 500. Cold weapons for 500. Which weapon do characters of this video game use to eliminate the ice bow baddies? There's the music. Aww. Which weapon do they use? Ugh. Doggy! I got I got nothing to lose. I don't know what this game is, but let's go with uh what is snowballs? That is correct! Snowballs! Ooh. Oh my god. DD. Mm. Yes, you can always guess because there's no penalty. So if you have an answer throw it out there but right. you know does that obviously... mean even if you have points there's no penalty or is it only you can't go into the negative no there's no penalty whatsoever you don't lose not at all points. okay okay yeah so you don't lose points if you don't answer Vanessa... correctly. it's Vanessa's a positive me, yeah. holiday cheerful game <laughs> <laughs> that's expensive it is mbd oh my goodness i was looking it up it's very expensive yep. I but that's like just a... gonna kill me now <laughs> it's like 600 bucks you. no penalty this isn't jeopardy ridiculous well oh, i'm sorry, trying to be yes. nice you guys should i turn turn mean again i was a no, no, mean no, no, on no, the... no 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 i was a little mean on the bram stalkers you know uh halloween so i felt bad this is the only question be meaner <laughs> be even meaner <laughs> <laughs> too mean too mean no sorry be too easy well that was that was a difficult question that was a good guess though i appreciate that Appreciate that. Maybe they're gonna get more daring as we go. More daring. All right, Doki, it's your turn. Hmm. Okay. Well, I feel like the "You're Frozen" song reference is for me. So let's go with "You're Frozen" for two hundred, please, Rat. You're Frozen. Two hundred. Take it. Dude from this game kind of freezes himself for a second when trying to freeze that lava. Oh my god. You know what? I'm not gonna even ask these questions. It should be no Genesis and no Holy Diver. Mixer. <laughs> what is I Holy Diver? <laughs> that is correct. I figured if you pressed it, you know it. That is correct. Holy Diver. Oh my gosh. Mixer cannot not know this game. He did it deathless and uh I figured he's gonna get it, but I was hoping someone else would beat him to the to the punch of the of the of the buzzer. I saw Holy Diver and my eyes just lit up. <laughs> mm -hmm. I had to put it in there. He is frozen, so he de definitely matches the definitely matches the uh the theme that so you were asking. Spelled the name Holy Diver. I should have asked him to sing it too. What's up, Grezka? What's going on? Our maker. All right, mixer. Let's pick it. Uh, winter sports for four hundred. Winter sports for four hundred. Here we go. These gorge mountains and the snowscape. Look at that purple. Appear in Nintendo game called Mixer. What is slalom? That is correct. It is slalom. Do you guys actually know those answers, or, yeah, or you're buzzing got, in? You probably I just got the buzzer. <laughs> buzzer. Toki, are you pressing your buzzer? Oh, yeah. Not on that one. I didn't know that one. No? Okay. Okay. I knew that one. I just got beat. You do it, Spade. I know. Me too. It was actually something I knew. I, I got educated on Twitch on that one. So, GG. Potato King. I'm a potato. <laughs> a potato. Holy diver. Yeah, we should have asked him, uh, Mixer to sing it at least. Right, random? I, I think I'd just leave the stream if I had to sing anything, <laughs> I think. Maybe that's what I'm going to make a requirement. <laughs> All the answers need to be sung if if they're, if it's possible. No lie. Oh. Hey, welcome in. Thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. One of the first games by Rare on the Nintendo MVD. Nice. It was before Battletoads, right? I think Battletoads was made by Rare. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the, we were just talking about some Battletoads. Moderated for that. Yeah, so please, no answers in chat, even though, you, unless they're just really, really silly. And even then, they probably can prompt 
them to think. And if they're thinking it's good, we want to make them think just a little bit longer, if it's possible. Already said it. Oh, that's okay. I'm sorry about that, Arctic. No, that's okay. But yeah, please, no answers altogether. Because sometimes it's a delay, so I can't really tell when it's coming in. Sing along chat. Exactly. Suit my am. All right. What is next? Uh, cold weapons for 400. Cold weapons for 400. You get hit by these cold shots when you fight this nice little boss. Who is Iceman? Iceman is correct. This looks familiar. Easy peasy. I think we need to start playing the music on the question or something because because we're definitely we're gonna play this in complete silence. <laughs> that rage, I know. I can hear that. I can hear it in my <laughs> I can hear it in my in my ear. Is the, the the buzzer. The buzzer click. It's pretty recently too. Bane, he's got a point right there, Toki. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can I don't know what to do. Like I it is he's it's fast. I, I don't know what to say. I, I tried to change it so it's available. It like I said, it's available right away, so please press it as soon as you know. But what's up, Ron? What's going on? That Mega Man right there. That was kind of an easy question. I knew that one. So that's an easy question. Alright, Mix, what is it gonna be? I cold weapons easy. cold weapons for two hundred. Two hundred. Well that's an easy one. What is the name of the weapon? you get in this little cozy place a particular name of the weapon what is the ice rod <laughs> that is correct how do you know those things <laughs> i played all these I played all these games. <laughs> no, me too. But I would not remember this thing. I'll be like ice, ice something, ice, ice beam, ice stick. <laughs> oh, Retro man, you could answer this universe. Apocalypse, what's going on? But it was an ex Thank you, someone. Thank you, Apocalypse. Ice wand. I mean, that's that's a that's a that's fun. Everyone knows that one. You love these questions? They're too easy? Well, you guys watch. Next one, you're gonna get destroyed. Be like a grappling hook. Haven't played it. Links to the past in ages. <laughs> Better kick Mixer's ass. Golten, you're supposed to <laughs> kick Mixer's I'm ass. I'm trying here, man. I'm trying. <laughs> All you can do is press the button. I I, I mean, we, we, we can try putting him on mobile for the final <laughs> Jeopardy. <laughs> But he, but but then you know maybe he doesn't have the app or something. We can try to delay him a little bit. <laughs> Very knowledgeable. All right. Oh, all right, mix. Here we go. What is the good? Uh, uh, how about winter sports for three hundred? Winter sports for three hundred. This screenshot is taken from a famous Super Nintendo video game called. Golden! What is NHL 94? Yes, that is correct! Woo! NHL 94, Javelar, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Retro back, <laughs> JJ Dog Spade. NHL 94, and I'm play planning to play that on the Genesis, actually, but I did not know it was on the Super Nintendo. See, a lot of these things you can get around it because they were on both consoles, so I didn't have that much trouble not putting in Genesis. You guys would be surprised. That's a really good hockey game. Yeah, it really is. It's yeah, like one of the I've heard that's like the best one. Most mm -hmm. famous sports game. Legendary Shockwave. Yeah, we're going to play that one. We're going to do it soon. Golden! All right, Golden in uh, second place. We let's try it, baby. It's called outside 300. 300. This snowy holiday scape appears in the famous video game. Oh. What is Donkey Kong Country? <laughs> Donkey Kong Country is correct. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Kalinka is getting hot in her hat because there's there's like too much activity going on from the pineapple over there. 
Really? <laughs> oh, do you know this? I oh, thought God. you liked being. I thought you liked being hot. Remember, you hate cold weather. <laughs> I like being hot, so that's why I'm I'm, I'm dressing in all fur. <laughs> I'm glad I got just came for the for the. Uh... Golden oh, yeah. almost yeah. got from Nico early. They just did the uh, white elephant challenge, and he almost got stuck with. Uh, well, I think it was it was Donkey Kong Country, right? Beating yeah, it well, under an hour. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, I haven't even beaten the game yet, so doing that under an hour, yeah, okay, not happening. I'm ready to cough up to fifteen dollars. Yes. Well, wait. I'm hoping. I need to ask Ellie if you can still donate. If you can't beat it, I'm just thinking ahead for Athena. <laughs> I like being hot. <laughs> Love the music at that level, Johnny. I never played Donkey Kong, so maybe some, maybe someday, someday, someday. All right, Toki, you should have joined us for the white elephant. You would have had a uh, um, a ratchet. You know, you messaged me, and I thought about it, and I totally forgot about it after that. It sounds like it would have been a lot of fun. And Toki could have presented us with uh, with a challenge like beating uh, Ocarina of Time of uh, under like an hour. And then I would have given you Battle Toads if I had the option. You would have gotten Battle Toads. I would have got. Well, I would have traded it. I would have. I would have traded no. it <laughs> under an hour. Oh no way! <laughs> You're gonna be Battle Toads next year anyway, though, right? Yeah. Exactly. Anyways, but not under an hour for sure. Kalinka Kasak from Mega Man 4. Yes, so today's outfit is brought to you by... Uh, I never played that game, or haven't played it yet, but apparently there's like a... I, I'm thinking it's a Russian-themed villain daughter, is she, Goten? Right? Kalinka? So, she's got a little uh, a little hat. I should have brought her little picture on there, but... We tried her best. What's up, Cobra? Elephant is white. Covered in snow. Exactly, Cobra. Aw, that is so sweet. That also create blistered thumbs. Yes, a lot of the Nintendo games for me, because of the squareness of the controller, create my blistered palms. Not really thumbs. What's up, Sprout? What's going on? Never played Athena, but you've heard good things. See? Someone loves it. Well, we're gonna dress as, 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 as Athena, so that should be fun, too. At least we're gonna make that work. <laughs> it was evil with the Athena one. Or maybe we should dress up as a horse. Looking at that. that would be fitting for that game. A horse? A horse? Yeah. Dress as a horse? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the horse! <laughs> Alright. What is it gonna be? Let's pick the next one. Uh, Cold weapons for 100. Cold weapons for 100. Let's finish them off. In Iconic! Super Metroid. This weapon allows you to freeze the enemies. So what is the name of that weapon? What is the ice beam? Ice beam is correct. And that finishes up that one category. The Russian theme for the tower. Wait, which tower? That's brick. Is it comfiest for you, Vanilla? Oh my goodness. My, my palms. Alright, Mixer had killed the uh, cold weapons category. It, it went it went hot and then it disappeared and melted. Hossack Sour. Oh, got you, Apocalypse. Got you. Super Metroid, never heard of it. I would have not guessed that weapon. I don't know about you guys. We need to, we need to get everybody in like the same room so they have the same internet connection. <laughs> Six, what is it going to be? Uh, winter sports for 200. Winter sports for 200. I think that's an easy one. Want to skate like her? Well, you can. If you practice your moves. In this game. Then. What is winter games? That is correct. Winter games. Woo. Noise. DD. Broke that thousand. That's what we like to see. Me too, Shockwave. <laughs> Please switch back to Spectrum Internet so you can <laughs> lose your rat coins. <laughs> oh my goodness, J Dog bet on Mixer. T Rex. T Rex, potato, and a pineapple. That's not a good combination right there. Winter Games and Winter Swords. Yeah, I guess, Universe. It's just called Winter Games. Looks like it'll be fun. 
Pokemon battle. Be a bit huge mirror man. I need this. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right, Godzad. Let's go winter houses for 300. Winter houses. 300? Mm hmm. All right. This peaceful escape and cabin. Look, we even have a gym. Appear in this N64 game. Togi! What is Banjo Kazooie? That is correct! Banjo Kazooie! <laughs> Toki's in the green! Nice. I don't know why it changes colors for me. GG Toki. Banjo Kazooie! <laughs> we need more GIFs. Toki's Cirrus Rex. Neo Geo didn't have any hockey games on it, uh, Chris. You know what? I did not explore any Neo Geo. That's some that's some good thinking for, for the next Jeopardies. <laughs> Crew for life. Toki, what is it gonna be? You're moving to the cat. Oh, let's uh, let's go to your frozen for four hundred, please, Rat. All right, frozen for four hundred. This frozen guy appears in a GameCube game, modern, called Toki. Uh, Ice Age. Do you know the full name of the game? I do not know the full name, no. No. Well, there's no penalty, but I cannot give it to you. It is a... Well, I have to do this. It is Ice Age 2. Mm. Down. 2 3D for a mixer? I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> 100%. But it was an Ice Age 2. I'm sorry. Ice Age 2. If you would have said Ice Age 2, I would have taken it. No meltdown. I'll Close. be honest. I didn't know there was a second Ice Age. I only knew there was a first. Yeah, I didn't know too. there was a first. <laughs> Maybe they had some frozen guys in the first. I, I just have to, to get the second one. <laughs> Boogaloo, Simon's Quest, Ice Age 2. The, the Metroidvania. Toki, it's still you. Let's go. All right, let's go with your Frozen for 300, please, Rat. Frozen for 300. Ice Age 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Next time has a Souls game category. Oh, Goofs, that's too modern. <laughs> the Frozen game character you see here, which is right here, right here, is this infamous guy. Mixer! Who is Mr. Freeze? That is incorrect. Mr. Freeze is incorrect. Who is this guy right here? Well, since we're not doing negative, if you want, you guys want to take a guess? I was going to say Mr. Freeze too, but. <laughs> Doki? I mean, I'll say Batman because he's freezing somebody. It is Batman. <laughs> all right. We're, we're doing oh. all positives. Cheers. Batman! It is Batman frozen right there in the in the pixels of the Game Boy. Mr. Freeze? Well, who is this then? The other the other dude. The other dude is is the doing the freezing. Maybe this is um what is it called? Mr. Freeze? That, yeah, that guy's Mr. Freeze. This guy's Mr. Freeze, but this dude right here. You can see my my clicky thing, right? With Trixie. Ooh, yes, this guy. He's frozen. It's the it's the way frost looks frostbite looks on the Game Boy, right there. All the frozen pixels. <laughs> All right, Doki, you're next. All right, let's go for hi. I like snow for one hundred, please. Hi, I like snow. Five hundred. What is the name of this creature living in the ice level of Super Ghouls and Ghosts? Full name, please. There is a name of this creature. Mixer? Who is the ice demon? That is incorrect. They have name. I know, Grudge. I know. I'm learning so much of this. <laughs> they do have a name. They do. Any other guesses? Uh, who is the ice devil? <laughs> no, not ice devil. He's got a long name. I'll take... I'll take, like, first part of it or something. 
This dude actually has a name. Toki, any guesses? Any thoughts? Ice Modius. <laughs> Ass Modius. Ice Modius. <laughs> Infamous usually means bad. Oh, my bad. I, I thought it was in meant like famous. Famous. Yes, I'm sorry. That is a little bit of a. But you can see who the dude is, right? So that that that's kind of self-explanatory. Manual. Nobody reads the manual. It it is the king of the Arctic Mountains. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. So now we've learned something about ghouls and ghosts, which is really awesome. That's quite I a name. I know. Catchy name. I, you would I fought that guy it. like I swear I fought that guy like 20 times in my life and didn't know that he had any actual name. Apparently it's the king of the Arctic Mountains. I would have taken um, the king or something, you know, because I know he's got a too too long of a title. The standard name like Craig. Could have been like Tom or something. Watch Jeopardy with your grandma as a kid. Thanks for streaming. Aw, appreciate it, Shockwave. I love it too. I love it. And I have so much fun making these, even though sometimes they turn out a little jank, but I, I do I do like them. All right, who's who's going? I think it's still Toki, right? Yeah, All right, let's go to uh, Hi, I Like Snow for 100, please. 100, easy peasy. I like snow. This epic opening and creatures marching in the snow are part of which game? Particular game. What is Final Fantasy VI? Final Fantasy III in the U.S., that is correct. Oh, I think I clicked the wrong thing. Wait, was it 100? 100 mix. That is correct. No, wait, what? What? Need a turbo button? Okay, okay. I think I got it right, right? Because I saw the, the, the check mark over the pineapple. I know I <laughs> I think I messed up in one of the Jeopardy that uh, you guys played. What's up, Trash Cat? That scene is so nostalgic. It's so good. And it's a gif, too. I loved it. Put his mouse up and was spamming. So he was spamming. Aw. He's, so only the uh, the first two people who buzz in get a color under them. The third person doesn't get a color. And I've seen some accusations that I did not know a couple things. So I just need need the Toki crew to know, you know, I know what Mega Man is. I've played Mega Man. I did remember that one. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard because once someone buzzes in, then you can't really press it. So it's li literally whoever presses that little purple button button buzzer and it goes live when the countdown ends so it's just it kind of depends on your i guess internet connection and mm -hmm. the speed of your fingers <laughs> it's gone hitting the button extremely fast yes yes he is he is what's up backlog all right <laughs> mixer you're back on the picking uh, on the picking block all right hi i like snow for 400 Makes a beat Mega Man when he was four for 400. I like snow. There was carried off to the darkness by the huge emperor penguins. Whose sad story is described at the beginning of a famous Super <coughs> Nintendo game? Who is the penguin? That is correct, Mixer. It is the penguin. <laughs> and it is from Batman Returns. That exact screen was taken from Batman Returns video game. Batman Returns. Rambo on the NES when he was three. Any games at two mix? <laughs> I think you got into the gaming a little later. <laughs> I started on the Atari when I was like two or three. There's a picture of me playing on it. You did? Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You should play the uh, the uh, Super... Uh, not Super. The Pitfall, right? Pitfall is called yeah, I Pitfall. Yeah, I love... I love that game. Yeah, you should play that one. I think that one doesn't have an end. That's what I at least I heard. Like, you got to get the, the high score. But, yeah. Spider-Man, have Super any? Super Pitfall does have an ending, though. It's a really good game. Yeah, wait. Oh, did you play that one? Super Pitfall? I have not streamed an Atari game. No, not yet. Good. Everyone should uh, should explore the Atari universe. I only played the Pitfall because it was in the in like a hidden level of the Pitfall the Mayan Adventure on the Genesis. So another game, Toki. If you want a good Genesis game, Pitfall the Mayan Adventure is pretty hard. 
but it's good. Let me grab my pen and paper. I'll write it down. Write that down. Oh my goodness. Now the music is mm, so so, but the mind adventure. Remember playing? It's pretty hard. I think universe. It's pretty hard. Sega CD version? Oh, okay, Grunt. Yeah. Sega CD might be kind of fun. Or PC. Sega CD. Yeah, see, it's okay. You can you can ease into the Genesis a little bit more that way. Oh, I love the Sega CD. That's my level of jank. You gotta play some Bram Stoker's Dracula. If I did not inspire you to play more Bram Stoker's Dracula from my um, Halloween Jeopardy, then I don't know what will. Is the CD one better than the, what is it, Genesis one? It's so different. It's very different. It's it's like janky and just different. It's harder, I think, than the Genesis, but it's very, very different. Worth I kind of liked it a little bit. Ah. It, it's, it's good. It's good. It's jank good. It's super funny, though. You love it. <laughs> Whatever makes game makes me uh, makes me laugh, I love. Better soundtrack. What do you mean, uh, Grunt? The the Genesis? Are you are you picking on my Bram Stoker's Dracula? That is an untouchable game, Grunt. You have to love it. You have to love it. <laughs> we have another break coming up, so maybe we'll wait just a just a teeny teeny weeny bit. Heart of Ice animated. Finger. Batman Returns is pretty damn good. Yeah, actually, Batman Returns is a really good game too, from what I've seen. From what I've seen, anyways. Degraded. The better would have been degraded thanks to Toki. Aw. <laughs> What's up, Ron? Welcome in. There's our Genesis lover coming into the chat. Ron the Pharaoh. He loves his, his Genesis. Chico! You don't have a choice because Rat said so. Exactly. You have to rat like Bram Stoker's Dracula. And Little Mixer got a, a White Elephant Challenge win. Pick. It was his pick. It warmed my heart. That he's going to play Rat's favorite childhood game that I actually have to admit, I never completely beaten it on hard. Because I did not know that there was a long sword that you could find. And with the short sword in my little Rat age, I could not do it. So, uh, I have to admit that it's not a challenge that I've completely done. I've beaten the game, but I've never beaten on hard. I think I got to, like, the level right before the last level, and that was it. But when Stellar Death played it, he played it, and he found the longsword. And that's when I thought, you know what? I mean, when you find the longsword, it would have not been an issue. But because I did not know that existed, that little short stubby sword, Toki, you need to play it on hard. You will see what I'm talking about. He doesn't, he literally has like a little knife like this big. He just goes, he just like stabs right in front of him, two inches. So ridiculous. <laughs> I can't wait. I died on normal. Yeah, normal, he's got a normal sword, like a long sword, like that swooshy sword. But on, on mm -hmm. the hard, it's like, it's like this big. I'm not even kidding. The guns in that game are so bizarre, too. Like, they, they bounce off walls, but they do no damage. They, they almost seem worthless. Yeah, they're usually, like, better on maybe bosses or something. I guess that's what they're... Oh, okay. For. Yeah, like a strider sword, exactly. Spade! Thanks so much for the almost two years, Spade. 23 months. Thank you, thank you, Spade. Thank you so much. So use your sword that counts exactly, j Dog. That's all that matters is how you use it. So, we're gonna we're gonna expect miracles from Bram Stoker's Dracula on the Mixer's playthrough. Miracles. All right, here we go. What is next? Uh, let's go with Winter Houses for four hundred. Winter Houses for four hundred. Just give up. Be beaten loop two. Located in the snow fields of the northern continent. In Final Fantasy VII, Cozy Town and Cabin share this name. It's music, you guys. I hear Jeopardy music. What kind of a uh, what kind of a uh, name do they share? Oh 
Oh my goodness, you guys. That I remember the zone. I remember the cabin. I don't remember the name. Oh, I love the name. I don't remember the name either. I'm just trying to. Uh. Don't remember the name. It was really weird because it seems like the town, and sometimes they call the cabin the same, like the 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 building the same way. No one buzzed in, so it's no one's answer. And it is the Icicle <gasps> Inn. That's what it's called. I knew it Are you kidding me? Like I could not remember it. Me neither. I'm going through all the town names in my head, but like this is not. No. The weird thing about it is like I thought it was an inn, so it's like a building, but it's actually a town that was called Icicle Inn as well. And Icicle Out. <laughs> you are close, Vane. Really close. It's great. Final Fantasy VII. You don't remember the name? Time for a replay? Exactly random. That's what that's what we like to hear. Music is too loud, but at least we heard it. At least we heard it. We can turn it down just a little bit, Don Chico. <sighs> it sounds like a name for a good strip club, Poe. Icicle in. <laughs> that would be a good one, too. It's a little chilly in there. It needs to be, like, uh, something warmer. Weird name. I, it is Shockwave. It's really, really weird. Had no idea. I've never played the game. Well, I, I like, barely started it, so... Well, Mick, I think it's still your pick. Uh, let's go with Winter Houses for 500. Winter Houses for 500. This cozy cabin is where Grandma tells the story about Wizard Dana summoned to save the Cool Mint Island in this 1993 Nintendo game. Grandma, Cool Mint Island, isn't that cool? Uh, what, is, what is Fire and Ice? Yes, that is correct. Fire and Ice. Woo! Nice one. Oh, shit. I, I, that was just a wild guess. <laughs> nice. That is the game I've never actually seen played. I found it. I'm like, oh, look at that. It has like a really deep story in it. Go, Golden! I know! Oh, GG! Solomon's Key. Close. Fire and Ice. It's a Solomon's Key 2. Ah! Form of... From Animax. Get every single question, right? Shockwave! Oh my gosh, that would be a brutal one. Maybe we'll do something. We'll do a brutal one. Maybe we'll do a Halloween brutality... Brutality game. And <laughs> knock everybody out. <laughs> Go, Ted. Uh, uh, let's uh, let's try uh, winter houses for a hundred. Winter houses for one hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Easy one. It may be cold in the penguin hot tub, but I bet it's warm inside that house with icicles. Located in this game. Mixer. What is Mario 64? That is correct. <laughs> Super Mario 64. MK4? Nice. Hey, what's going on? Mario 64. Look at that cozy hot tub. That's what I should put my rat in. I should switch my hot tub to that thing. I'll sit down with the <laughs> penguin. <laughs> right, osicles. Osicles? What did I say? Osicles? Maybe I said who's goals. <laughs> Spell check. Screenshot didn't look like a NES game at all. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't. Right? I still love the penguin. That's for level name. Oh, did I misspell the, the question? Wait. Next to it. Oh, we did say osicles. Okay, I missed that. Osicles. <laughs> well, we'll leave the osicles. <laughs> I think I looked at him like three times over too. <laughs> Usicles. <laughs> What's well, gonna add to the Bram Stalker's Dracula? Usicles. <laughs> Mixer, you go next. Uh, winter houses for two hundred. Winter houses for two hundred. Oh, the NAS game. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, Chris. This icy house can be found deep into the story of this point and click gentlemen what is this point and click game 
gentlemen any guesses nothing point and click knowledge is minimum this is the only point and click that rat ever played we're doing a hot stop stream and it is siberia 2 now siberia 1 was okay but siberia 2 never. is so much better never heard of it <laughs> it's really really good game really heard of it game. but never played it is a point and click Toki? Siberia? Yes. Point and click? Uh, I've heard of it. I haven't played it. Oh, you should. See, I was trying to, because there's... I was going to say, there's a few that I've seen with art styles like that, so I was trying to think if any of those jumped out, but Siberia didn't come to mind. Oh. Yeah, I figured you were going to catch the, uh, you're going to catch the, um, the, the lady over here, but this is kind of like a, like a Yukon, uh, little mm. ice ice house that she goes to it's more like a pal game like three of them yeah i think there's a third one that came out but i don't know if it was any good what's it called <laughs> lira all right what is it gonna be uh you're frozen for 500 you're frozen next for 500 not one five yeah 500 Five hundred. In Zelda Twilight Princess, you have to fight character <laughs> Yida, Yeda, overtaken by ice and turned villain called what is her name as a villain boss? I think the her. What is their name? I never played this game. <laughs> The picture of her, of, of them, when they're like turning into that boss. It is 500. Modern Zelda. Any guesses, gentlemen? Any guesses? We're on uh, like icy, wintry things. So any what is the ice crab? <laughs> ice what? What is an ice crab? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. No, not an ice crab. I wish. It does look like a crab a little bit. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> it is not an ice crab. It is. She's called Blazetta. Never played the game. I had no idea. Blazetta. <laughs> yeah, that was more like a boiled crab, Johnny. <laughs> But that her name is Blazetta. I want to say it's her. Yetta, Yetta, and then Blazetta. You know this one, Malachite? No, he's too modern, Spade says. Too modern. We can't go that modern. Damn. You played it once, you don't know the names? I know, that would be very tough. I would not guess any of these unless I, like, really read them through the manual, which I never do anyways. At Twilight Princess on your list. Did you know that, Wolfmaster? Ocarina of Time. At least it was. Well, last time we had an Ocarina question. I was I was shamed for having too many Zeldas, so we limited it this time. All right, that that many left. Let's see what we have. Shame. What's gonna be next? How about Baby? It's cold outside for five hundred. Five hundred and Baby, it's cold. In this cozy snow cap mountain view. That appears in this Nintendo Super Nintendo <laughs> video game. It's a daily double too. So just so y'all know, it's a thousand points. What is it gonna be, Goten? Is it Demon? What is Demon's Crest? It is not Demon's Crest. Pizza, what's happening? Daily double. I was actually thinking the same thing, Goten. Daily double. This screenshot literally came from a 
SNES version of this video game. One last chance. Demon's Crest? Oh, did it look like Demon's Crest? Come on. Dare, dare, dare to win, gentlemen. Dare to win. No? No guesses? No guesses? <laughs> you think Literally, you know, no, Master? Anyone in chat that knows? Anyone in chat? That kind of breaks my heart just a little bit. It, it, look, it looks oh, a little bit like Ghosts and Ghouls, maybe? I don't know. No. I think it's Act Razor. It is not Act Razor. Yes, Apocalypse. It is Bram Stalkers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's your troll question. Now I get it. It's a thousand point question. Oh, oh my god. Grunt? Not Act Razor. <laughs> you never get it. <laughs> Bram Stalkers, you guys, I could I couldn't pass this up without a Bram Stalkers question. I could not do it. Isn't the Super Nintendo Genesis versions of this game like very similar? Very, very similar. I think, actually, the music is a lot better on the Genesis version, but the looks of the levels, I think, are all just pretty much the same. Maybe just, like, a little bit different variation. And I don't know if you get the short sword in the in the difficult mode on the on the Genesis, though. But... Alright, that's what I'm playing every Bram Stoker Dracula game from now on. <laughs> Bram Stoker's <laughs> Dracula. <laughs> well, Siberia 3 you started making part 4 before she passed away. Oh, the author of Siberia passed away. Aw. That's sad. What's up, Jazz? Take a second to think. Sponsor Bram Stoker's Dracula. Available on your console and your choosing. Thank you, Jazz. Thank you for that shout out. Bram Stoker's Dracula needs a shout out every stream. Just saying. All right. What is it going to be? <laughs> uh, baby, it's cold outside for 400. Baby, it's cold outside for 400. Wait, what? Used to work in the grocery store? <laughs> Jossler. Beat that once? I did beat it. Not the SNES version, though. Jeffrey Bram Stalker's theme sometime? It, we did have that last time, Apocalypse. I'm still catching hell for it. <laughs> too much, too much Dracula. 400. Baby, it's cold outside. Which country? According to N64 Goldeneye 007, is this snowfield located in? Toki! Siberia? Which country? Country, oh, uh, Russia? Yes, that is correct. <laughs> I almost, I almost, I almost, I almost didn't, uh, didn't do it. <laughs> Siberia came up again, but it was a good, it was in Siberia, yes, but country. That's like a region, I think, over there. But maybe it is, I never played Goldeneye, so it could be, but it did say it was Russia. Siberia, too, in, to be exact. Rat's motherland. In the motherland of Russia. Exactly. <laughs> More than he did than, than, than Alex. Racha. It's been Siberia. I've never been to Siberia, no. No. I don't think I'm gonna go. It's too cold out there. It's too cold. If the global warming happens and it's gonna have palm trees, maybe I'll go then. <laughs> country. So it got mixed up. Yes, country, country. People go to Siberia. Oh my gosh, Jumbler. Toki! GG Toki. And we have five questions left, you guys. We have Mixer in the lead and Goten and Toki with 1,500 points in second place. Too modern for Mixer. He only remembers Zelda 64. Toki. I've actually played that before at my friend's house. Zelda 60. Oh, there is an actual Zelda 64? Well, you mean Ocarina of Time? Great. No, uh, Goldeneye. I've actually played that oh, before. Oh, 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 gotcha, gotcha. I'd love to play that game. Got $50 right in this game. <laughs> oh my Dang, gosh. Uh, no, don't do it. <laughs> no, no, uh, only Ratcoin betting. No real betting going on. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's getting serious. 
<laughs> Two million frozen lakes. <laughs> Toki, which All right, category? Let's do it. Hi, I like snow, please, for 200 red. 200, let's get rid of it. I like snow. This cuddly creature appears in this easy baby Nintendo game. What is the game? What is Battletoads? <laughs> Battletoads is correct. <laughs> oh, look at this cuddly thing. Don't you hate it? Isn't it terrible? That thing is like the worstest. What is Friday the 13th? What's up, cat? How's it going? This infamous snowman. Now, he is definitely infamous, right? <laughs> baby game universe. That's a baby easy game. I had it in quotation. No turbo mice. No rats. <laughs> snowman is ice. His ass. The Bram Stalker's Dra uh, Battle Toads. Bram Stalker's Dracula Battle Toads. <laughs> you guys can kill me. Mixer? Baby, it's cold outside for 200. 200. Baby, it's cold outside. This peaceful snow level appears in Contra for Nintendo. What is the name of this level? The exact name. Mixer? Uh, what is Snowfield? Snowfield is correct. <laughs> Maybe Mixer is too good with the snow. He likes the cold. That's what it is. I should. I love it, and I, I love it, and I live in a hot state. Maybe when we have the summer Jeopardy, then then we should have the hot hot questions. <laughs> For the for the final Jeopardy, Iceland. He's from Iceland. Coach just said the best. Sweating is awful. Agreed. I got used to my hat a little bit. I'm actually kind of comfy. Icing on top. Ice, fire, and icing on top. The name of the level. What does it say? The name of the level. The it start, does... Every star of the level. Every mm -hmm. star of the level. It says a uh, snowfield hamster. And maybe in the in the manual, right? Too. I think it does say that in there. What's up, chaotic? <laughs> this is too good. All right, mix. We have three left. Three little little thingies left. Where, what are we let's, going for? Let's do baby. It's cold outside for a hundred. Baby, it's cold outside. Nest Ducktales has snow level, which is named after these famous mountains. What are those mountains? The Himalayas. What are the Himalayas? <laughs> Correct. The Himalayas. See, that's kind of like, I was kind of uh, happy about this question because it's really Jeopardy-like. It's actually like geography. Space Mountain. <laughs> what is the Mojave? Oh my gosh, so rigged. <laughs> it is not rigged! North Pole. Do you guys know that? I knew this one. Mm -hmm. No, too much. I don't even know that stuff. I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> you learning. I love cold weather. You live in Wisconsin, JPS. Yeah, me too. And I don't. I hate it. But during in the final, he still wins? Yes. I guess so. Maybe. Not yet. We can still. There's still 200 points on the on the block. All right. Mixer? What's it going to be? Uh, winter sports for 100. Winter sports, 100. This is the cover of a Sega Master System game called Cult. At 200 points, can actually win the game. Mixer? Uh, what is ice hockey? I'm just taking a guess here. I think we can do that. Great ice hockey. Oh, Great ice hockey, mixer. really? <laughs> Great ice hockey. I think I think that that's okay. Friday the thirteenth. Great <laughs> ice hockey. Close enough. Great ass hockey. <laughs> Regular <laughs> ass ice ass hockey in the in the great one. This is a great one. Great game. <laughs> All right. Mixer one last one. All right, you're frozen. 
You're frozen. For 100. 100. You love hockey? I'm guessing Splatterhouse? This is a frozen version of a character in which video game? Golden. What is Sonic CD? Sonic CD is correct. Because I just played it. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a fast click, too. Uh, I, I buzzed in. He beat me on that one. No, you see, it's it's it is possible somehow. I don't know if it is. I didn't know if it was. But we are done with our questions, and we have Toki in number three, Golden in number two, and Mixer in number one spot. I don't know what we're gonna do with him, you guys. <laughs> I seriously don't know. I we need to have like a a modern game, but I think he knows even that. He knows that stuff. Coggers. Mangors. Oh my goodness. Better win be, all the points. I'd be screwed in most modern games, honestly, because I don't know hardly any of them unless it's like a JRPG. All in, gentlemen. All in. Yeah, Maybe. I'm all in. All in. <laughs> I'm going to let them do what they want. Using cheat codes. <laughs> Bang. All right, so here's our final Jeopardy question. Final Jeopardy. Hopefully, there's no uh, no misspells here. I think we all wagered. We're not going to look at their wagers. We're just going to play. Good luck. Boss pictured here appears at the end of one of the hardest dungeons in Zelda Link to the Past. And has this freezing name. So please give the name, the exact name of the boss. We have our answers. Should we look at the answers? It's Amaranth. <laughs> the link to the past. <laughs> Can't recall the name. All right. <sighs> Who should we look at uh, first? That looks like rat chaotic. I think it does. If I had a, it's like my brain with an eyeball. <laughs> okay. So whose answer should we see first? Mm, let's go left to right. Toki. Take my points, rat. Take them. <laughs> I sigh. That <laughs> is incorrect. But is a very, 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 very good guess. Nailed it. Skeleton. Claude Stare. Did you? Claude Stare? Are you supposed to be Claude Stare? But Cold stare. I, think okay. I, I, I think was I, waiting I, I for you to say that you you miscalculated. That is correct. It is Cold Stare. GG. That's why I thought it said eyesight was was correct. <laughs> almost, <laughs> Toki. Almost. It was a Cold Stare. But that's a good one. Claude Stare. Let's see what Mixer said. Offside, Mixer. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there with me. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there. <laughs> I had to G try G something. GG. Nice. Is either that or is either that or Frozen Eye? That was the only thing <laughs> I could come up mm -hmm. with. Wow. Nice. All right. Let's see. Who do we have? Four. Our winner. Drum roll. <laughs> Drum roll. It is of Mixer. Course. Team scores. Wait. No, we don't want that. Show score. Total points. It was actually a really, really good game. Mixer is $33.99. <laughs> Mixer wagered a one whole point. point. <laughs> like one. Grab well Soccer's cold heart. <laughs> Oh, 
with $33.99, Galton wagered 1,600 points in 3,200. JG Galton for knowing that. That's awesome. I did not. I, I was hoping that one of you guys would guess it. Like, um, but I, I know it's hard. The eyesight was, was what I would have put down too. Sensible play. Exactly. And Toki. Toki. Nice wager. And, uh, yeah. We went conservative on the wager. I figured Goten would go all in. And I was going to let the winds of fate decide. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> good thinking, right? Because it would have been an ice eye. Evil soul into these questions. This is hard even for me. Oh, I appreciate it, Chico. Oh, it warms my heart. At least if if I have like at least one good question, it really warms my heart. Ma rot coin. So the winner of today's Jeopardy is Mixer. And that means that first Mixer is going to play in the final Jeopardy at the end of 2024. We're not going to see him in Jeopardy until then. In our other Jeopardies that we're going to do. So that's the unfortunate part. The fortunate part. <laughs> 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 that we're going to have some uh, Goliath uh, when we get three more. Probably three more contestants for the final Jeopardy. So... It's all possible. Toki and Goten, I'm hoping you can join me for the next one. I will be, absolutely. I'll make it if, I can, if I can make it, I'll make it. Yes. And then we're going to have two more contestants joining on next Jeopardy, which I think is going to happen probably at the end of February, maybe early March, but probably more end of February. And um, yeah, we're going to have uh, two more, two more join in. Really, really excited. I'm uh, hoping they're going to have fun and uh, please be gentle with them because they're just new coming in and they do not know the history of Bram Stoker's Dracula. So please be nice <laughs> to the answer. But GG Mixer. So Mixer, today our prize was a $100 Steam gift card or a tangible gift from Rat, whichever you would prefer. And you have to tell me right now what you're picking and uh, so we can see it. I will take the tangible gift. Tangible. Woo! You're going to have to give me your, your coordinates to send it out because it is it is a thing. Oh, my God. He's actually getting an actual gift. An actual, an actual tangible gift from Rap. All right. Tell me, tell me it's an elf doll. What? 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 <laughs> tell me it's an elf doll. Elf doll? No, it's I not. It was a fanny pack. How Mr. dare you, it is a, a equal or lesser value. But, but here, today's gift was the Atari 4. Oh, wow. Nice. It's like a mini Atari thing. Mystery oh. box for some Atari. Wait, that's the wrong one. For some Atari gameplay. So hopefully you enjoy and stream some... Uh, some pitfall for us in celebration. Nice. That is awesome, and I will be excited to have that. Really will be. I can't wait. So it was really, really cool. I'm really happy it's going to go into good hands. And, uh, yeah, thanks for picking our, our tangible gifts. And some stickers. We're going to send it all out together. That's good thinking. Sorry. I'm really excited to... Uh, um, Really excited for Bix to stream some Atari, so that'd be cool. It would give him an excuse to do so. I think it's got some some games and it's like a mini system, so it's it was pretty cool. I really wow. like it, um, and I had to have it. So tangible gift this time, and for winner number two, we did have a second winner, Golden. Second winner gift. Let's see it. It is a Sonic the Hedgehog. More toys. We're gonna have oh, toys. Oh, nice. <laughs> the Sonic the Hedgehog from Rat, the the Genesis oh. Sonic. <laughs> That's awesome. The little rat run for the for the Genesis Sonic. That is really cool. So hopefully you like it. You can put it together, and we can have a put together stream 
but that is your skull ten. So, All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, GG, GG on cold stare. <laughs> I didn't have the uh, the link to the past gift, but that would have been possible. Diorama from Stardust Speedway in the past from from Sonic CD. Wait, what is the? Oh, that's called the Diorama. I'd never do that. Stardust Speedway in the past from Sonic CD. Oh, it is an actual thing. Wait, is that Apocalypse Rate? Hang on, let's see it. It is! Stardust Speedway Zone. So that's the, uh, it's from the past. So, Galton, that is very appropriate. You just yes, did that. <laughs> you yep, just, I just did finished. that fast. It's the Sonic CD. Nice! Thank you, Apocalypse. That's awesome. Nice, nice, nice. Aw, oh, thank you, Knight. I like it so much better than the than the the real tv version because we're gonna discuss more and play more retro games because and that's what makes it really awesome they should have a retro themed jeopardy on tv but they don't but we do here in the in the little rat hole <laughs> thank you thank you so much for playing you guys so mixer is moving on to the final round that means he's gonna be joining us in chat hopefully next time around and we're gonna have two more players if Goten and Toki are joining in, us in, and they're probably going to be Nicomancer, Ellie, and Zofar. So I'm really, really excited to have them. We're going to have to probably figure out the dates, but I'm really, really excited to have them. And, uh, and Alex will come back as well on one of the next streams, so that would be awesome. But thank you, thank you again, you guys, for hanging out. It's been amazing, as always. I hope you like my questions. And um, I'm really, really warm right now with <laughs> with my Kalinka hat, but <laughs> it hasn't been too bad. It was it was better than than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. And Toki, GG, Golden, GG, you've been amazing. Thank you so much for all those answers. This was actually really, really good, and I think I like not like punishing you guys for not answering. <laughs> Correctly, so that was really good. GG! <laughs> thank you so much for 100 bits. Grim it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, any final words? Mixer, Golden, Toki. Mixer, thank you so much. Golden, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thanks for having oh, us, Rat. It's been awesome. Yeah, always fun to do this. Great job, as always. It's always a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. Thank you, thank you. Good job. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, thank you so much for 100 bits. And. Twitch is matching the bits, so we have like a, a 20, whatever, 25%. So any any bits, any bits cheered. I think the Twitch now uh, matches them. So they add, I can't hold they on. I'll, 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 do, I'll, do the, I'll do the prediction. Yay, prediction. Oh, yeah, we got to finish that. We definitely have it. to finish that. So you get all your rat coins for Mixer is the winner tonight. He's our champion, and he's got one of the spots in final... Jeopardy! Doki! Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Doki! Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. Thank you so much for participating. You've been amazing, and thank you, thank you so much for being here. I can't say thank you enough for, for you guys to, like, spend your time here and uh, enjoy my 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 my, my jank uh, Jeopardy questions. I really, really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much for being here. Always. I love you lots. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. It brings great joy to me. I love making these. I feel like I actually learn so much and and like enjoy doing it that I I, I don't want to stop. So. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Cool hat hamster. Exactly. This is the Kalinka. My my best try at Kalinka. Beer master. Thank you so much for the thirty months. Oh my goodness, guys! You cannot start a hype train. We're going to go raid out. This is what we're going to do. Who will win? Prediction ended. Anegi, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Thank you so, so much. And Toki, again, thank you, thank you. Spade, Mixer, Golden, Grimit, Spade, thank you, thank you, thank you again. Hype train, hype train. All right, let's go on a raid. I think we're going to go see <coughs> one of our future contestants. Let's see if he is on. I was hoping to raid... So far, if he's streaming yet, I don't know if he's on. I think he's on. He's playing some Final Fantasy 2, and I think it's early enough that we can actually go say hello to him. 
Rat is streaming. Let's go rate rat. Rat is is streaming right now. Let's go say hello. All right, we're gonna say hello to Zolfar. Zolfar is amazing and awesome. He's playing Final Fantasy two, and uh, he's a great friend. And he's gonna be joining us for hopefully next Jeopardy. So that's really really awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. But thank you again for being here. Love you lots. I'll see you again on wait, what is today? Sunday. I'll see you Tuesday for I don't even know for some more Sonic. I think so. Sonic, not Sonic CD, regular Sonic, but. Thank you again for being here. Love you lots. Have a good night and have an awesome week. Bye. 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 Bye.